Good morning. My name is Katinka. I'm the seamstress at the cottage. And I'm on my patio this morning because it's beautifully sunny outside and inside there's no power again so I don't have good light. It's Friday so a hashtag started by Jane from today in Jane's sewing room to show and tell what we've been up to this week. There's a link to her channel at the bottom. Today I'm going to chat about a few things that I've done this week. One is the yellow dress. This is that awesome client who ordered these dresses about three months ago and she gave me free range. She basically liked that style at the bottom, but for the rest I could do what I wanted. And so with this dress, I actually added these sleeves. It was kind of like a dress that she had. So this, this basic pattern was a dress that she had. I haven't ironed it because when I'm home, I don't have power. And when I do have power, I'm either sleeping or I'm busy sewing. So... <laughs> So anyway, it still needs to be ironed, but it's got like drop pockets, which is set in. I love this type of pocket. It always is very good for like if you want to keep your phone without it pulling too much on your dress. And then I also gave it a little cap sleeve. I just had a piece of fabric left over and I just added it at the top. And then I overlocked it and fold it in to make the seam or the hem. And it works quite well. I just see this light is very bright and I... I think it's in my eyes. Let me see if I can move maybe over there. Make it better. Or oh. Okay, that's better. I've moved Dola forward and she's blocking the sun a little bit. So now I'm not squinting like this to try and talk to you. So anyway, I was telling you about this dress. So it is a Rami linen. It's nice and soft and it's got a beautiful drape. And I love what I like to do with linen dresses. Actually with most of my dresses. I give them a, a double hem so this is like a double piece of material it does stack more fabric then but for linen especially it just gives it such a beautiful drape her other ones were in pure linen so they've got the more structured more architectural and this is more soft and flowy and that's why i decided to go with the flowy sleeve as a seamstress i often have to just do what clients want so i love it when a client give me free range and just allow me to do what I can or what I want or what the material allows and I find with that I often get the most inspiration and I took some of my inspiration actually from this top that I'm wearing there in my make nine video I talked about pieces of linen that I had scraps left over and I was going to turn them into tops and this is one of those tops I also made a little video about how I made this top I will link both of those videos below but the first thing I want to talk to you about that I finished, I didn't, I finished it two weeks ago, but last week I was driving, so I couldn't show you, but I finished my jeans and I am so happy with them. They came out so nice. I am busy editing the video for this. I used this as my basic pattern. It looks like that. <coughs> And it's a very nice pattern. Like I said in my previous video, I used to have a pack one like that in that color almost. Just a bit more golden color and I used to wear those pants all the time. But thinking back now, it was a bit big for me even then. So this, when I started, was it was extremely big. <laughs> I had to take off this much on both sides. And I basically had to redo the crotch because that was also not right. And it was very high up. So in the end, I just used it as a basic. I, I, I would recommend this pattern if you like really wide pair of pants, but then use the right size pattern. So what I did is I changed the back into a jeans back. I love that type of back. And then I just gave it the normal pockets according to that pattern. I had to change the crotch. It was, this was too high in the front, especially. I always have that problem. So I went, I cut it out lower in the front a little bit. And then I also changed the, the line, the scratch line. Um, I will show you in my video that I'm busy editing. And then it's just very wide legs, which I love. And it fits nicely. It fits nicely around my hips. It's very long, actually. I wear, I'm wearing it with sneakers like that's got a platform. So it fits nicely on my hips. And then it's just quite high-waisted. And I love it. I can see myself wearing this a lot for cooler days it's just too hot at the moment i actually put on my thinnest pair of pants for today because it's really hot and humid so then in my last video i showed you the fabric that i bought and i said i was going to dye it so this was the red linen now i've been wanting a, ru a rust 
colored dress for so long and i've been struggling forever and a day to find rust colored fabric in south africa i want linen so i was able to find some online <coughs> sorry but it was so expensive so I, when i went to, to that city last week with my friend um last week's friday so as we do a road trip i'll put a link uh there was linen in this one place that sells remnants and it was like a quarter of the price that linen would always go for or no maybe a third of the price so i bought the red and then i used orange and chocolate brown and i over dyed it and it really came out so nice i knew i took a chance by doing that but i thought you know what i love it anyway and if i don't then i'll just over dye it again and i'm planning to do maybe one of these shirt dresses i will change it a little bit uh, there's a Christy Dawn dress that I love. I'll put in a photo of that. I love these Christy Dawn dresses. And I've been wanting to make one for a very long time. I like the drawstring in the waist. And I just think they are so beautiful. So I have these two patterns. Now that one is quite small, but it's got the drawstring. And this one is my size and I think if I combine them then I can actually make this dress and I want to use this pattern to make that dress I'll, I have to adapt it but I think it will work then I had this pair of, den, of, of linen pants a friend gave them to me years ago and I love them I wear them all the time I see I need to fix the back again and they were like a donkey gray because they washed out so much so I put them in the same dye pot and they came out this color. And these ones, uh, at work we have a chlorine bath for some of our products. And so the one day I had to do some testing with the chlorine bath and I got some of that jig or chlorine on my pants and it actually stained it or, or took out the color. And I'm so surprised it over dyed it beautifully. You can't even see where the spots of, because it was white where, where, the, where the color was taken out. So I'm going to just fix the back because it's quite big and I that will work and then I can wear these pants again and I love this color and then I still are dyeing the dye apart so of course I had to find some other things to dye now this is a fabric that a friend of mine she brought it when she was in New Zealand and it's a merino I think a merino it feels like viscose merino viscose I think it's viscose I must actually burn it and see that she gave me but this color doesn't do anything for me in one of my first videos, I think it was like the third Friday shows, I showed you a little jersey, that cardigan that I made out of this, and it just didn't do anything for me. So I took a piece big enough to do something uh, like a winter top, and I made, I over dyed it, and that's the color I got. And I love this color. I am going to wear this color so much, and I think I'm still going to take this and over dye it as well into maybe, I think I'm going to do this in a denim blue, because I love denim blue as well. So that has been my dyeing adventure for this week. And then I have found a pattern that I want to use for this. I showed you and I said I want to combine these two. It's Liberty Lawn. Love it. It's so pretty. And I actually took the dress back for my friend. I was It was a toss up between these two. But both of them, this is the McCall's 7804. And this is the Simplicity eight six eight nine so it was a toss up between these two and i took the patterns out of the the pattern uh, sheets out to look at it properly and what i think i'm going to do is i'm just going to use this one the simplicity eight six eight nine but i'm going to hack it first what i'm going to do is i'm going to do b no what view a which is lot no view b and I'm going to give it a frill. So the frill will be in this and the dress will be in this. And I will combine the bodice parts with different things. But I will also train the sleeves. I want the sleeves are quite big. I just want to make sure about the shoulder adjustment because I've got broad shoulders. So I always have to make a bicep um, adjustment. And um, so I'm going to do it. I'm going to do it just for the bodice a little mock up to see how it fits. And then I'll just use that bodice as a pattern. And then it's going to be three quarter sleeves i love three quarter sleeves and i will do a binding so the sleeves will be in this and the binding in this and i can't wait to make that dress i have a lace in this olive green that you can see all over 
and it looked it fit, fits perfectly but i'm not sure i want to add lace to this dress i might i'll see afterwards so that is what i'm going to be working on this week besides all my orders lots of orders that's waiting there there is alterations as always and two dresses yeah two dresses pants an evening gown a bridesmaid's dress and some more curtains so I've got my work cut out for me, literally. <laughs> Some of it is cut out. And I will have to work around load shedding. So it means that this weekend I'm not going to sleep much because when the power is on, I will have to work. And that is me for the week. Thank you for spending time with me. It's a very short one today, but I always love these Friday catch-ups. And I'll see you in my next video. Goodbye.